Happy New Year, ASC. It's finally 2023. But first, let's recap what happened during the last month of 2022. Last month, the Battle of the Rock local Army vs. Navy flag football game took place, as well as the official West Point Black Knights vs. Navy Midshipmen football game. The Army won the official Army-Navy game 20-17, which took place at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Our local soldiers played their hardest in the flag football game at Brady Street Stadium, but in the end, Navy took the win. Check out some of the highlights from the Battle of the Rock game. The teams take this game very seriously. They've been practicing since at least October. This game is an opportunity for both the Army and the Navy to build a spree de corps between the services. And at the end of the day, even though we, you know, we joke with each other, it's all one team, one fight. And it's good to get out in the community, to have a fun football game. So it'll be fun times had by all. It's never too late to turn your life around. Specialist Philip Charles Vander Hayden IV is proof of this. Specialist Vander Hayden enlisted in the U.S. Army at age 30 and now is sharing his story to let others know that they too can still change the direction of their life. Throughout his 20s, Specialist Vander Hayden was working in food service before he hit his rock bottom. As he approached 30, he decided to enlist in the Army to save his life. Now, Vander Hayden is thriving in the Army and happier than ever. Before I joined the Army, I, I'm, I'm not really sure. It was like I was wandering like a, a lost path, a dark path with no real aim. Uh, ever since I joined the Army, ever since I stood in that field and they honored me as a soldier, um, I felt like I found myself. I felt like I really became the man that I always knew I was but didn't know how to become. Congratulations to Melissa or Missy Peterson for being selected as one of Army Materiel Command's Employees of the Quarter for the second quarter, fiscal year 2022. Peterson is a human resource specialist who worked at ASC prior to taking a position with AMC's G1 Civilian Workforce Talent Management Division in August. This program recognizes civilians and military personnel whose outstanding and innovative contributions made a direct positive impact on the command's mission goals during the quarter. Thank you, Missy, for all of the great work you did at ASC, and we wish you the best at AMC. Moving outside of headquarters, at Camp Humphrey, South Korea, the Army Field Support Battalion Korea received the Fiscal Year 2022 Army Award for Maintenance Excellence on December 8th. The battalion was recognized in the Active Army Table of Distributions and Allowances Unit category. This award is given out each year to recognize Army units and or activities that have demonstrated excellence in maintenance operations. Each unit is evaluated on their effectiveness, ensuring that soldier competency is maintained. In Kaiserslautern, Germany, key leaders from the 405th Army Field Support Brigade toured the Army Oil Analysis Program Laboratory Europe at the Kaiserslautern Army Depot on December 5th. The purpose of this visit was to gain a better understanding of the AOAP lab's mission, organizational structure, challenges, and relationship with the brigade. The AOAP lab is assigned to the 405th AFSB, one of less than a dozen AOAP labs in the world and the only one in Europe. The lab tests oil samples from different types of equipment, such as vehicles, generators, and aircrafts, in an effort to predict equipment component failures and lubricant conditions. That's all we have for the December recap. ASC had a great year during 2022, and we can't wait to see what 2023 has in store.